Good day and welcome to the news. How I discovered that Boko Haram monitors their men who are in prison. Babajide Otitoju. Now, the news in details. Babajide Otitoju has said that some of the terrorists who have attacked prison facilities in Nigeria were previously held in the affected facilities. Speaking on TVC News, the investigative journalist revealed how he discovered that terrorist groups keep tabs on their members detained in prison facilities. Addressing the issue, Babajide said, Terrorists have attacked multiple prison facilities since 2020, so it is no longer shocking. Some of the attackers were held in those prisons before and they have the information they require. The loose system of our prisons allows them to communicate with each other. Do you know how I discovered that Boko Haram monitors its people in detention? It continued, there was a time when we wanted to do a prison swap with them. And the terrorists mentioned their members that they wanted freed. They also mentioned the prisons where the affected members were held. How could they have known that if they were not communicating regularly with those people? They must have been in communication with their people before the attack on Kuje prison. So yeah, we have um, investigative journalist in the person of Babajide Otitoju speaking on the... Um, on Boko Haram um, and concerning the Kuje jailbreak. And um, he said that these Boko Haram mem uh, members actually have communication um, with the outside world as well as um, their people in prison. And he said that, um, and he said that there is some of the terrorists who actually went to free those. Um, Prisoners in the prison were actually previously held in do, in that particular prison, and that whenever a jailbreak takes place, that the reason why they find it easy to actually do so is that because some of the terrorists have actually been held in those facilities before, so they have the information they actually require to take on a jailbreak. And he said the loose system of um, the Nigerian prison actually allowed them to communicate with each other. And he also went on to ask the interviewer that, do you know how I discovered that Boko Haram monitors its people in detention? And he went on to talk about how there was a time when they wanted to do um, a prisoner swap with um, Boko Haram and that these terrorists actually mentioned their members that they wanted freed. And they didn't just mention the members they wanted free. They also, also mentioned the prisons where these members were being held. And he said that there is no way they would have known that information if they were not communicating. That the only way um, the Boko Haram terrorists would have been able to have such information about the exact prison that these people were actually being held is if they were in con um, constant communication. And he said that they have been communicating constantly, regularly with their people. And he said that they must have actually been in communication with their people in the Kuja prison before the attack on the Kuja prison that took place last week. So, like I've always said, in um, he said that this the um convicted Boko Haram members are usually in contact and communicating regularly with those that are not um convicted, those that are outside, and he has said that it's because of the loose system um of the prison of the Nigerian prisons, but then. That's part of it, but then we can actually deny the fact that an insider 
um, that is disguising as a prison official. Actually, um, is one of them. So, which actually helps this um, attacks take place. So, I'm going to say it and I'll say it again and again. There is no way Boko Haram, Iswap, um, Ansaru, um, terrorists, Fulani Edsmen, and the um, host of others can actually survive and keep on attacking if they don't have sponsors they actually have sponsors like massive sponsors and people in the nigerian government are actually part of the people sponsoring them them so um okay they get um they go on um a raid they go on an attack and these Boko Haram members are caught. Then they are taken to prison. And how does the communication start? Where do they get the phones? How do they find the phones to start the communication? How are they ever caught while making calls and all that? So it just goes to show that there are a lot of things that actually takes place before you can actually place a call while in prison and that just brings you to the fact that they have insiders they are prison warders they are part of them they are prison officials part of them they are um people in the um in every security um outfit outfits that are part of them i mean yeah book around members everywhere you don't necessarily have to be the one that is um wearing um whatever they wear like the trouser and that um thing that they are wearing and putting bullets around their necks and tying their turban and carrying guns you can be a Boko Haram member and be a uh, military officer you can be a Boko Haram member and be working um in the courts you can be a Boko Haram member and be working in the prison they actually need all these people they actually need their members in every um in, in important places they don't actually they don't only have members in that are just um all about killing and all that so there are actually important people in the government that are Boko Haram members so um he has said it all they communicate they communicate a lot they communicate um regularly and yes that's that actually was actually aided their um attack they will send their member in the military to redeploy the soldiers that are patrolling patrolling the kuje environs that one does his job from there on that one we call them at their headquarters and say i've delivered on my job and then they place a call to the prison warden and say the area is clear we are coming so 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 time make sure that this particular door is left open and that one does that and he calls and said says i've delivered on my job and the next thing they call every single one of their members in prison and say by such a time we're coming to get you freed and those ones just sit down in the prison in their in their jail cells waiting till their members actually come to get them so you can see that all these things are actually not can't just be done in the prison they're actually people outside that aid and abet these people so i just um, want the nigerian government to actually look into it because there are people in the government that are part of the boko haram um, terrorist groups so i would love to hear your thoughts opinions um views on this particular news what do you actually think about it please do that in the comment section down below don't forget to like share and subscribe to our youth channel so you get an update anytime a post is made that's it from us today, guys. Thank you and God bless.